Sarah, welcome Sarah to the show. So for the last four years, Sarah has devoted her life to her husband, Gary. But after Sarah kindly invited her close friend to come live with them, their marriage soon imploded. Sarah now believes that not only did Gary carry on an affair with the woman she invited to live with him, Sarah now fears that Gary has been unfaithful throughout their relationship. And Sarah's hoping that the results of a lie detector test are going to give their marriage a second chance. So, why are you so hurt? Why are you so angry? I never saw this coming. And are you trying to tell me if he fails this test? I don't know. You don't know. Okay. So you let a friend stay with you. Yes. That's when the trouble began, you think? Yes, sir. Why? Well, that's when my eyes opened, anyways. Why? What um, was going on? What, what did you see? She would have no underwear on. Oh. Or Yuck. she would have her legs all spread. Oh. Or, you know, she'd be oh. doing kickstands with uh, Kick no stand. underwear on and booty shorts. Just, just what, what went on in his truck that got all, you all upset? He let her masturbate in his truck. <laughs> he's not touching. I mean, he's not doing anything to her. That he, she's just doing that on her own, right? Yeah, well, she says she needed privacy. Bitch, get your own money and get out. So, what you need my husband's truck for? Gary's cheating with other women, too. What? I'm not sure. I give him everything he needs more. My mama told me what you don't do for your man, the next bitch will. So I do everything for my husband. What did your former co-worker say? They knew that I had air mattresses. We lived in California, and we just moved in. They knew I had air mattresses. They, had, they knew what was on my calendars. Oh, so they you, they've been in your house, you think? Apparently. This is what Gary had to say. Watch. I am so super offended that my wife would think I'm cheating on her. Sarah thinks I'm cheating on her with numerous women. She even thinks I'm paying for sex because there's money missing from my paycheck. But I would never do that to my wife. I have been 100% faithful to my wife. All right, everybody, here's Gary. Gary, come on out. Very nice to see you. One hundred percent faithful, huh? One hundred and one percent faithful. One hundred and one percent. Maury, I want to believe him so bad. Yeah, I bet you do. Uh, what happened between you and Sarah's friend? Nothing. Nothing. Then, of course, uh, there was a girl that she used to work with who had uh, told uh, her exactly what your house looked like. Because she knew my calendar had cupcakes. You know what I'm saying? Like, because you had the only calendar with cupcakes on it, right? Yeah. How does she know that? Maury, he has so many scratches and stuff all over him. I, I thought he had Lyme furniture. disease. I thought he had Lyme disease. I move Okay, we got, Larry, uh, we got Gary's lie detector Thank test. You. How's that? You were asked when you showed Sarah a video of a woman performing oral sex on a man, were you the man in the video? No. <laughs> no, no, no. The lie detector test determined you're telling the truth. Thank you. You're asked during your relationship with Sarah, have you ever paid for sex? You said no. The lie detector test determined you're telling the truth. You were asked during your relationship with Sarah, did you have sexual contact of any kind with Sarah's former co-worker who claimed you had sex with her? You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. You were asked during your relationship with Sarah, did you have sexual contact of any kind with your friend who you let stay at your house? You said no. no. The lie detector test determined you're telling the truth. How shocking. You were asked during your relationship with Sarah, have you ever had sexual contact of any kind with another woman? You said no. The lie detector no. test determined you are telling the truth. No. Hmm. Hmm. So everything I've been telling you for two years, you just heard again, but from a machine. Thank you, Mark. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it.